You're listening to the R3 Podcast. <laughs> you know <laughs> You know you're doing good when that pussy talking, boy. Well. All right. Croissant. <laughs> croissant. I need carbs, dude. Yeah, a, a croissant before a podcast. Pretty good. Kind of jealous, kind of mad I didn't think of that myself. You could ask for one. I had two, man. I know you had two, but I ain't going to take that from you, man. That's you're up. You're a growing boy. What are you talking about? <laughs> you're a growing boy, man. You need all you song. can get. You about to hit that second You about to hit that second puberty. Is the second Should, one real? Yeah. I've heard I feel, about it. I feel like it's real. Here, let me do an intro. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Radio Ridley Radio. It's your boy, Michael Ridley. You already know what time it is. It's November 6th. It's fucking 2.35. PM CST in the great town of Austin, Texas. Trump is president, and I have Nick V. <laughs> <laughs> I have Nick V in the fucking studio, and Trump is president, and I'm fucking I'm. We're back, a, dude. I was a I was a Bernie supporter in 2016, and when they took that from me, I was a uh, severely uh I was severely disappointed in the Democratic Party, and they flipped me. They tilted me. I didn't want it. I'm a Democratic Trump supporter, and they tilted my ass. Like I, I have very left leaning ideologies, but as far as like money and shit, I'm very conservative, and I like I like that. I like, I don't know. I have a wife, and I want to buy a house. And her, I don't know, dude. I'm yeah. just I'm a. You grow up a little bit. I, well, the thing that everyone with, starts you spawn in as a as as left. You spawn in as a and left. over time, yeah. You pay enough income taxes, you just kind of graduate. You get your belt. It's like it's like a it's like everybody starts out as like a white belt liberal, and then yeah. what's the next belt? Look up the belts real quick. <laughs> Look up the blue blue belt. Yeah, blue belts next, and then yeah, now you're like uh, you now you're like a like a mid twenties liberal with your blue belt. Yeah. When do you get red belt? Red belt. Red belts after black belt. So that's oh like, wow. So yeah. that's like super. Yeah, you're like <laughs> it's like your dick's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Once your dick's gone, you get the red belt. Incredible. Yeah. I uh I don't know. I stayed up. I stayed up late to watch the election results. I was nervous because uh, back in 2020, I remember seeing Trump winning, and I was like, okay, we'll get it sorted out. This COVID shit's going to get fixed. We're going to figure this COVID shit out because I was already over, like, the pandemic and shit. I was done. I was done. By, like, the final years of Trump's first president presidency, I was over it. Like, the first year of COVID, basically, I was like, I'm done with this shit. So I was like, all right, if we get Trump, then, you know, once they get the vaccines rolled out, we're going to fucking be able to, uh, you know, just get back to normal. Because that's what I thought. I was nervous about COVID. I was nervous about, yeah. you know, it, 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 they're saying it's a virus that can kill people. I believe it, you know. Yeah. But I was like, I, I'm like um, a, a level-headed with shit until I'm proven otherwise. Yeah. Because, like, I always I have, like, I'm untrusting a shit. But I was like, that's well, you're also crazy. You're a crazy person if you immediately untrust it. Yeah, so yeah. you're like, all right, well, let's see. Because common sense would say, like, they'll, they'll develop a cure quickly. We're the rich, one of the richest nations in the world. We've, we've got some of the best doctors and some of the best scientists in labs. We'll find a cure for this. And then they'll administer the cure, and then we'll just go back to normal, and just people will just go get, go get the cure. Yeah. But then it turned into, like, no, you're not getting the—you got the cure, but now you need to get cure plus. And cure—you yeah. have to get booster one and booster two and booster three. <clears throat> and then, like, people started getting sick from those things. And I was like, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. This is, this is exactly what I was, like, slightly insecure about in the beginning. Yeah. And yeah. now my, my, dream, my dreams have become nightmares, basically. Yeah. So I was like, all right, well, I'll just, we'll just we got to get four more years of him so that we can fix that. And then Biden became president. Like, see, I went to bed that night. Yeah. Last election. I went to bed that night. And I woke up, and Biden had suddenly won. And then I went... Mail in ballots. Oh, because of the pandemic. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. And I'm like, oh, damn. So they just like killed a bunch. They sacrificed a bunch of human <laughs> beings so that they could get four years. And yeah, hey, yeah, come on here. Like, yeah. You killed all those people to accomplish what? Yeah. Well, to softball Kamala after yeah. Joe's like two, like, all right, here Joe was just like, all right, let's just put the country in neutral. That's all. It was. <laughs> That's literally all it was. We didn't go for. It was just like we, we didn't, just stagnated for. Yeah. yeah, and then we'll just softball Kamala in there because everyone will see how retarded Joe is. And then they the the, the plan foiled. 
So I feel like if that was part of the plan, all those people, what did they die for? You were the black sheep on in your family with the vaccine, right? Cause yeah, I, cause, I was the only. I was like the only dude who was on the other side. Of well, like too, so. I was living with my wife and uh, her parents at the time, and her parents. I wouldn't stop doing comedy during the pandemic. These are Bernie supporting whites. These are level headed, left leaning people. But when yeah. the po- pandemic happened, uh, I wouldn't quit comedy because I was like, listen, they're gonna come out with. I was telling them everything that was gonna happen. I was like, they're gonna come out with a cure, and then if the cure doesn't work, they're gonna have like supplementary shit you have to get. And then they're just going to keep asking and seeing what they can get you to get away with because it's a, we're in a phase where, like, we're getting socially engineered to become more docile and obedient. Yeah. You know, and then you had January 6th, and there was a, like, and there was, like, a January 6th was a pretty rough ordeal, pretty bad situation. But it also kind of showed the government, like, oh, fuck, they, they didn't forget about that part in the Constitution where it says you can, like, pull up, and if you're dissatisfied, you can fuck them up. That's, like, in the Constitution. Yeah. It's like, yeah. if you're dissatisfied with management, you can see them directly. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. And then, they, and, then they, and then the elite's like, oh, fuck, they actually did it. Well, we need to convince everyone that people who did this, if you stand up against your government, you're a domestic terrorist, and that yeah. was the new thing. Yeah. And I was like, oh, fuck, now I'm a terrorist? And you look at, you look at the people doing it, and you're like, oh, yeah, spitting image of a terrorist. Yeah, so oh, yeah. Just a bunch of fucking a fed dude up. A dude in a scooter. <laughs> a dude in a Walmart scooter riding up the White House lawn. You know, like that's, <laughs> the guys, it's literally Osama bin Laden. I don't know if you guys know. <laughs> it's like, you can't just, call those people terrorists. They look like mayonnaise. Like, it's fine. Just, a, a, <laughs> just an AR-15 and an e-scooter. I'll show them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. It's like, you know. I don't know, man. People, I, I think there's this thing that goes on where... Uh, you can't be pit- like it's 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 mad it's bad to be pissed off about anything like you get right. shamed for being angry anymore. Right. And it's right. like anger is not it's not always bad. Anger and frustration is right. not an inhumane trait. It's not yeah. like it's not unhuman like to be fed up or instinctually deep down in your heart you know that you're being played for played a fool and you're being taken advantage of. And there's some kind of ulterior motive. You don't know exactly what it is, you know, but your you instincts know what that are. That's your soul fighting. <laughs> That's what it is. That's yeah. your soul being like, "This is fucked, dude." Hey, this is wrong. Yeah, hey, this... but you're just paralyzed because you don't, you yeah. know, because yeah. HR will get on your ass. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah, HR. It, it, it's crazy that there's all these things, you know, from the beginning. Let's think about in the beginning when you're in school. Like, hey, walk in a single file line. Hey, don't do this. Hey, don't do that. Hey, don't do this. You know what I mean? Yeah. And we see we see what happens when um people stay when people stay within those lines. Look at most left leaning people, right? Yeah. They were, you know, usually like smarter. I will say left leaning people are more book smart. Mm-hmm. They're more book smart. They they study. They read. They have good reading comprehension. They try to figure things out. And then they they did good in school. And they and then they go to a college, right? They come from good families too. These think of it like your your average white liberal, right? He goes. He has like a somewhat okay family. Maybe a Republican dad who kept everything together. But like his dad's ideologies, he doesn't understand that his dad's conservative nature is why he had all those things and such a good childhood. Yeah. And then, you know, he his dad kind of tries to give him tough love, and his mom's nurturing, so he fucking kind of resents his dad a little bit. Yeah. And he's more, like, mommy-minded. And then he goes to school, and he goes to college. And then all the hot chicks uh, that, you know, he never really learned how to talk to girls. So um, he's in college now, and he, he sees, like, cute girls, and, and they're, like, really into activism. and Because girls like to feel like they have, you know, influence over shit. That's just, like... That's just kind of like part of the third wave feminist shit where like uh yeah, I'm gonna make a difference. I'm gonna I'm gonna use my words and make change. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, there's weak men out there who kind of simp for that. Yeah. And I think that's why we have like Kamala dudes and shit. Like yeah, hundred percent. It's like you boys boy, you're just liberal for the pussy, man. If you yeah. if you learn how to work with your hands, you'll find a chick that just wants to cook food and hang out with you. Yeah. And it's not necessarily a bad thing. I don't understand why people. Well, if, I I, if I'm <clears throat> nice enough, will I get some pussy? <laughs> Maybe. If I'm kind enough. Well, <laughs> if I I heard that if I vote for Bernie, she might give me a little qualm of the pussy. I what was thinking if I tune into my empathetic feminine side, I may get some pussy. 
Yeah, and then the, the, ditch, yeah, yeah, the shaming of the, the the shaming and erasure of masculinity and in the this resen- country. The, the resentment of your dad is yep. it's a taught, mm-hmm. it's filtered into the you know that you know it runs in tandem is what you're trying to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah it yeah, all yeah. It runs in tandem because because the 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 status quo is is over Com- em- over empathy and comfort. like where you where you fucking ignore reality itself mm-hmm. to be nice. You know what I right, mean? Right, 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 right. You you you. There's like like um. Like you're at you're at a Starbucks, and there's homeless guys doing heroin in the fucking bathroom. So now there's a keypad on every bathroom door. Yes. And now a normal guy can't just sneak in and go take a piss. He's got to buy something, get the code on his receipt, which yeah. is perfect for them because now it's like, you're it's illegal. Is it on the receipt now? Yeah, it's on the receipt now. You but can't even just ask. For but it it's anymore. illegal to fucking make a bathroom. You know what I mean? Yeah. You have to have a bathroom that's accessible. Yeah. It's like code or whatever. You can't just. And then there's shit out. They literally shit outside. Yep. Because all the because all the people do heroin in the bathroom. So now that's why San Francisco just has piles of doo doo. They even have the doo doo app, where you can look at all the piles of doo doo app. Yeah, it's like Google Maps, but for doo doo in San Yo, Francisco. Pull up doo doo app, dude. If the, you can. The, it's the poop that's app. That's very interesting. Yeah. There's a, yeah. You're listening to the R3 podcast. Guys, this podcast is brought to you by DickLasers.com. It's a fun little laser pointer that shines the shape of a wiener on the wall. It's so <laughs> funny. It's one of my favorite things. It Nothing takes me back to eighth grade more than a laser pointer that shines dicks. If I had this thing in school, I would have been a fucking nuisance. I would have been, I would have been constantly getting written up. But now that we're an adult and we make our own money, you can go over to DickLasers.com and use promo code SWEATY for 10% off at checkout. Get you one of these funny little dick lasers, man. Uh, do it in the movie theater. Do it out in public. Shine wieners on people. Shine it everywhere you can. It's also got a flashlight and a laser pointer, and you can put it in your pen. You, you It has like a pen mm-hmm. loop on it, too. It's USB Type-C char- rechargeable. Fucking endless hours of fun. Endless possibilities. I love my dick laser. I got three at the house. If you're a teacher, shine it on your students. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get, get, <laughs> get arrested. Get arrested, dude. Yep. It features five hilarious dicks, a high powered red dot laser over a thousand feet range, flashlight backlight. Oh, no, flashlight blacklight USB charged, lightweight, 1.4 ounces. You can of do fun. jizz checks on your friend. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love doing room oh, raiders. The jizz, uh, the jizz so check funny. is hilarious. You shine the blacklight on a dude's uh, lap, <laughs> the, the stains show through, and you get to make fun of your friend. That's yeah, another. Dude. Find cum feature. on your friends, dude. <laughs> For nineteen dollars, you can find cum on your friends and get ten percent off of that nineteen dollars with promo code Sweaty at checkout. Guys, go over to DickLasers.com and support the pod. One of my favorite dick on the laser, mm. the down one with the balls. <laughs> the POV, you're the facing p- me. That's p- what I call that, that one. <laughs> that one, that one, P-O-V. the bottom right. <laughs> that's not a. That's not a. That that dick doesn't get drawn a lot. No, it doesn't. That's Good. a very funny one. All right, guys, back to the show. It's the R3 Podcast. Hey, congrats. So this is... <laughs> Poop app, yeah. We're here to build a new America. Yeah. This is, here's what we got, man. Snap, we got, we uh, got Google Maps for shit. Snap, <laughs> snap crap. That's snap crap. Snap crap? Yeah. I like how they named it something nice. This is the story of how I moved to San Francisco after college. And I discovered that the city I would once fantasized about living in wasn't the urban utopia I'd imagined. Wow. <laughs> Could you imagine? Yeah, full- this is you, you, dude. You described the college kid thing earlier so well because yeah. I grew up around. Because I grew up in the I middle knew- of nowhere, mm-hmm. and so they'd go off. The kid, the girls yeah. especially, would go to colleges up in Minneapolis, and then they get brainwashed, and they come back like fucked. Barcode haircuts. Yeah, they come back fucked. There's yeah. a few girls I know like that. And, yeah. Uh, Good. And they were pretty. Come from like conservative families. Well, it is, dude, because yeah, getting disciplined by your dad is tough. But, like, a hundred years necessary. ago, it was like, well, that's what you do. And now you're giving kids an out to be like, well, your dad's actually... Toxic and shitty. Pushing down trauma or whatever the yeah, fuck Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or your dad, your dad's not a good guy because he's just, you know what I mean? Yeah, or paying all the bills. You're like, yeah. well, your dad's an emotional narcissist. Whatever fucking word they're going to come up with. So. Yeah, they come up with, like, new topics to make you feel like an asshole <laughs> for fucking, like... <laughs> they come up with new topics to make your dad look like an asshole for, like... And then, you know, there's, there's dads who've probably watched, like... Their beautiful daughter go off to school and then come back and she's fucking just forty pounds, fifty pounds overweight. She shaved her head. She's got a bunch of shitty black and white piercings. pencil thin tattoos and piercings all over her face. She was on the cheer team four years ago. And now she's a fucking twenty yeah. twenty five year old fatty that's fucking bitching about shit that she never had to really deal with. You know what that's like? It's like if you gifted your son a car, right? And you're and like, then, this is a Corvette. 
mm-hmm. and it's stock and it has mm-hmm. fifty thousand miles. And he came back, he's like, Cool, I just drifted it into a wall. Yeah, that's what essentially yeah, that's that. the yeah, daughter like a, equivalent. Yeah. It's you know, I would be fucking livid, man. My kids aren't it's weird now. It's freaking it's kinda getting weird. You can't get this app anymore. You can't get Snap Crap? Uh Oh yeah, because they were like, Well, that's fucked up. You can't you can't I bet San Francisco did something. Probably didn't clean the shit up though. <sighs> no, they didn't clean the shit up, but they did everything they could to probably Even sue Austin, them for it defamation. R- it rained in Austin the mm-hmm. other day, like hard. It did. And yeah. I was on Sixth Street and it, I'm like, thank goodness. Dude, it this rains, street needs it so bad. The it rained super hard the night before the election. And I was like, uh, Oh man, this, that omen. Monday. Yeah, I was like, this is the omen. The dude, cleansing. There's been omens, dude. Yeah. The fucking raven today. Oh. So we go to Juice Land. Should right? I try to send him a video of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can. I can, can send him. No. I have it. Thank you for Nick, bringing that up. Can you yeah, move the... your beverages on that side? Oh, yeah. yeah. Pull the sure. mic a little closer. 100%. Yeah, pull the mic closer. But, uh, Let me adjust my drinks, fool. I got to fucking uh, airdrop you these photos. We, we, Dude, me and Nick, we went to Gold's. We've been going to Gold's and hitting the sauna, bro. I don't know if I'm a little, if I got a little Asian flush going, but your boy, dude. Dude, the sauna rips. The buddy. sauna, like, clears your mind and it, like, purifies your soul, dude. I'm just in the sauna. Can you just picture just picture Papa Frog in the sauna just Yeah. Holy <laughs> oh my, oh my. Fucking I'm sweating like a fucking yeah. Gatorade commercial. I look like Michael Jordan in a Gatorade commercial. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ginger. We had those what are those shots called? We, the it was it was uh What are they called though? The shot itself. Oh, it was like Doctor Doctor or something at Juice Land. They're honestly they're too expensive, but in a pinch. How much it's like, was it's that? Right they're like five bucks each. Oh, thank you. I appreciate yeah, it. I Thanks you. for copping that. Uh, that's cool. What no, are they called though? The do, it's you a doctor said, No, 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 not that. Like no. bigger than that. The oh wellness shot. Wellness shot. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Because I was like, you you're like, Do you want a shot? And I was like, What is the word? Wellness. Yeah, wellness shot. And it fucking, I saw it hit you, bro. I saw also I saw you take it on an empty stomach. You didn't you didn't sip your regular smoothie before you took it. No, I just I just chugged it, and I fucking just felt ginger electrifying every nerve ending in my body. <laughs> yeah, dude. I like, dude. It's the fucking best. Dude. It's like if it, imagine so if I good. was a puppet and I gave the fucking little marionette handle to a demon. Your boy yeah. was just in. Oh, dude, I was in the juice lane, just going. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 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 Uh, ah. Fucking ginger. Yeah, the crawling ginger on was- the ceiling and shit. Ah. Ah. <laughs> ah. I can feel the ginger yeah. flowing through my body. I'm becoming so powerful. Ginger, garlic, beet, some other shit in there. But no, it's all yeah. good shit. It's all fucking. It tastes like medicine. Like it's so strong. So we slammed all this shit, and we're in the juice land, and I can see Kamala voters. I'm assuming they were, because everybody. <laughs> yeah, the juice land. I forgot about this. Dude, we're in. We're in the juice land, bro. And the vibe was horrible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dude, the vibe in the juice. Me and Nick, happiest guys in the so room. So happy. <laughs> me and Nick were the happiest We're dudes. saying gay in juice land. We're like talking about how going to work is gay. <laughs> <laughs> we're the only ones being loud and happy. And it's so, dude, I was we like, saw, we saw some I was like, guy. they're going to spit in our shit, but that's fine. I'll sweat it back out. Some dude. guy, some guy walked by and, and Nick <laughs> pointed at him and I was like, yeah, he's going, he's going off. He's off to. He's off to go, uh, like, sexually harass girls at a WeWork or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Nick's like, what's a WeWork? And I was like, it's when you work from home and you physically decide to take your work laptop somewhere and you can network with other people. Yeah. Uh, they're basically, I said, uh, yeah, it's, uh, what are you, fucking gay? Yeah. <laughs> I said that. I was in Juice Land like, oh, yeah, I work from home. I'm going to go somewhere else to work from home. So yeah, it was. Yeah. I, I was well, like, to, and dude, in, in context, this Juice Land's downtown. There's a WeWork building probably two blocks from it. Yeah, ninety percent. There's fifteen people in there. Ninety percent chance one of those guys is in WeWork. In, yeah. and we're just like, yeah, dude, Trump fucking won, and WeWork's gay. <laughs> 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 Taking ginger shots and shit. Let's go shit in the sauna. High five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We go yeah. <laughs> outside. Know, we're like, look at this big ass bird. Like, <laughs> we're having such a fun time. It's so gloomy in the Juice Land. Dude. It was Everyone very was, gloomy in Juice World. <laughs> Juice World. <laughs> Juice World. I still see the shadows on my ballot. Just somebody bubbling in Kamala on a yeah. vote on a on a ballot. Yeah, just eating. He's on a plane. They're eating Trump ballots and OD. <laughs> <laughs> Please. So uh, we dude. walk back to my fucking. We walk back to my car, dude. And there is a raven with a fucking like four foot wingspan sitting on top of this car parked next to my shit. And I, the 
the Raven kind of saved me because um, I didn't pay for parking. And I see the parking attendant, like, taking pictures. And I immediately, like, get, like, that, uh, I have, like, car spidey sense. Like, if something's happening to my car, I just get. And I was like, yo, something's up with my car. Yeah, dude, I couldn't even see it from where I was at. And you swear, I swear I, like, saw your head. You were, like, getting a ticket. <laughs> you yeah. just did like that. And I was like, what? And you just got up. And there was, I sure did. enough, bro, there's a ticket I was, guy. I was slurping. I was slurping my smoothie all fucking, like, uh, calm and happy. Like, mmm, this is so yummy. And I'm... The, the background behind you goes black. Yeah. Sh- goes in like this. <laughs> Nani? Yeah. Good. 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 Parking a ticket. <laughs> yeah. And then we walk out there, and um, instead of writing me a parking ticket, this guy is taking video of a. Uh, let's just play this video. Look at this big ass fucking bird we saw. Yeah, this shit was crazy. Giant black bird. <laughs> Bro, I've never seen someone so seriously jip, sip juice like go back one time. Look at the look on his face while he drinks his very fruity drink, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Play that one more time. Play that one more time. Oh, that's funny. I man. love, I've noticed this, if I see people seriously eating that. I was scared, dude. Was I was low-key kind of scared. That, that that I was like, man, you better. I was. <laughs> <laughs> like he just got out of prison and hit the juice land first thing. Yeah. Man, man I'm going to get one of them juices. Hey, this jump pretty good. No? Hey, man, this jump pretty good for real. I see why these gay white dudes be drinking this shit. Hey, $8 taxing, but that's okay. <laughs> hey, I got it. They taxing for the juice land for real, but like, I fuck with ain't it. Ain't this shit fruit? <laughs> <laughs> ain't, ain't this shit just Hey, fruit? yo, this jump tastes like peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> yo, dude, outside juice land. Like... Hey, uh, yeah, you're just, just outside of a juice land with sagging jeans, sipping yeah. a juice like... Bro, I would love to. I would love to just take a dude straight out the hood and bring him to Juice Land and see what he did. Yeah, be that'd be a funny video series, like taking, <laughs> <laughs> taking, uh, taking hood ass motherfuckers gentlemen. to gen- <laughs> taking hood gentlemen to white <laughs> gentrified liberal t- uh, parts of town and just, yeah. damn. <laughs> So they got, oh, shit, they got the charger plug in the table. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, like yeah. Fucking, bro, the Tesla go hard as a bitch. You see that yeah. cyber truck? Do you still feel like that at people's houses sometimes? What, me? Because you, you were in the trenches for a minute. Yeah. I sometime, was poor for a yeah, minute. I, I go went, to people's houses. I see basic shit. I'm like, I see the double the French I've door fridge. A, I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> 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 I see you. Yeah, the, the stainless steel double French door fridge. Yeah. French yeah. Door. I'm like, can I get a cup of water? And they're like, the fridge will dispense it. I'm like, yeah. no way. <laughs> that shit's crazy. It's like been around since 06. And I'm still like, yeah, this is, I don't got to drink out of the sink. Like, this yeah. Is, this is cool. Yeah, you open you open that fridge and that shit's like got a blue ominous light. You feel the cool air. You're like, damn, this shit actually cold. <laughs> yeah, you open the fridge door. It's like that one. Uh, it's like that uh, abominable snowman door from Monsters Inc. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Glass shelves and shit. Yeah. But um, look at this bird, oh, man. No, it's just a giant ominous raven. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, you know. Just Whoa. a fucking, just a giant fucking. Look at that motherfucker! Dude, Holy everyone, shit. everyone stopped and looked. Everyone was taking pictures of that. It's the beauty thing. of God, man. It's God's yeah. creation, bro. That thing looked prehistoric. And it was it, like, look, it was looking at us, like it was like looking at us. Bro. Yeah, it wasn't it could, like a regular. These are birds are smart. Like I could tell there's some behind these. <laughs> yeah, I could see something behind its eyes because yeah. uh, we were looking at it. There was one point where we were talking about it, and it looked at us like this. Yeah. Like just beak forward and just you know the eyes are on the side because you know they're they're predators but they're mostly prey. They're you know they're just they're gonna run. Yeah. They're only getting shit smaller than them. So genetically they have their eyes on the side of their head. But this bird, there's something scary about pupils that are side mounted that are just. He brought them forward and he's looking at I us down the barrel that. of his beak yeah. and he held it for a second and I was like, yeah, I kind of want to go. He's doing this shit too. <laughs> Dude, I'm he standing there like a dork. I'm, I'm standing right? there like a dork because I got this phone case, and I'm just like, <laughs> 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 the bird's fucking. Yeah. Th- this is Nick. This is Nick. He's like, 
Remember, remember, can you pull up that picture of uh, Kim Kardashian's mom? Yeah. Uh, of recordings. There's this picture, bro. We send this back and uh, forth sometimes. It's this so is funny. so funny. Go to yeah. Go to Google and type in. Uh, oh, that picture rules. Chris, Car- Chris Kardashian. Chris Kardashian videotaping. I forgot her name was Chris. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah, know yeah, it's yeah, Kardashian yeah. mom. Go to images. Funny. Go to images. <laughs> This was Nick looking at this Nick. Yeah. Look, there's Nick go, go looking to, at the Raven. Go to the, go to the one three to the right. Yeah, three to the right. Yeah, that one right there. Okay. <laughs> ah! Ah! You're pretty. You're pretty. And he was like, man, this thing's fucking cool. It's so big. And I was like, uh, Nick, you need to back up before that motherfucker latches on your tries and just takes you. Yeah. Yeah, latches you know on your trapezius and... Pick you up by his fucking claws. Yeah, what? you're like he'll pick your little ass up, bro. You better back. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna scoop you, bro. My dad, my dad's, uh, my dad had a buddy named uh, Tiny, and he said they were down in Florida. Yeah, on the on a on a balcony of a of a fucking uh, hotel. And dude was eating a sandwich, and a seagull came down to try to get the sandwich. This dude, this dude's tiny. They call him tiny because he's like 380 or whatever the fuck. Yeah. And he punches the seagull. Mm-hmm. Seagull comes down, he hits it, and the seagull dies in the park. <laughs> <laughs> and he says to this day, it's one of the funniest things he's ever seen in his life. He's like, we didn't have so we didn't have smartphones, but he's like, I fucking wish, bro. Like, it's so funny, dude. I pictured the, that bird takes you back to the nest, and there's babies. And, <laughs> and, then, and I'm and, like, <laughs> no, 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 you. You're, you're just stuck up there for like two weeks, <laughs> and you're fucking you're uh, you're getting fed by it and taking care. You become one of the babies. <laughs> you're just one of the baby birds. Eating you're puke like, and shit. Yeah, you're eating the puke. <laughs> you're fucking like, I mean, it, yo, Nick, you got a brother. I called the fire department. Yeah, I know it's pretty chill up here. Kind of hanging out. He keeps oh. bringing me weed. <laughs> Weed pipes are shiny, so he keeps fucking bringing them over here. <laughs> <laughs> he brought me a sixer, dude. Yeah. Dude, just <laughs> dude, a fucking a raven with a sixer. <laughs> and I'm like, I fucking love it, just here, dude. Just an Ice House 40 wrapped around its talons. Just yeah. <laughs> you're like, oh, dude, sick. <laughs> you crack it open, but he's like, you know, you're like here, yeah, the bottle. Here he, wants the bottle oh, yeah. <laughs> he wants the bottle cap. He wants the bottle cap. Sending your homies like messages, uh, yeah. like taped to his foot. Yeah, yeah. you're gay. Yeah, you're on the rave. <laughs> dude. I was thinking how fun because if we get, if we got some extra money laying around to get carrier pigeons, yeah, and like learn like Timmons's address. <laughs> I'm like Timmons, what are you doing right now? And he's like, I'm on my porch. I'm like, stay there for ten minutes. <laughs> It's crazy. They taught birds in New York how to sell coke. They're selling. Co- they're selling. They're selling coke. They're selling coke. Yeah, they would. Uh, the mob would strap little bags of heroin and coke to them, and then they would give them the money or whatever. That's that Tyson. That's was Tyson pigeons. That's why he got into them a bit. Look at that fucking thing. Dude. Zoom in on the fucking. Yeah, it's zoom. hard to tell in the video how big that thing is, but. Nah, that thing's massive. Like that's the roof of a camera. Yeah, no, yeah. That thing was like a football and a half tall. <laughs> it was yeah. fucking terrifyingly large, dude. I haven't seen a bird that big in a long time. Last time I seen a bird that big, I was like in a place where they had birds captive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're like, check out this big one we got. Yeah, we got yeah. this. Hey, boys, I heard y'all like animals. We got some big ass birds down here. Come on down to Billy's big ass birds. We got all <laughs> kinds of fucking birds. We got big old black birds. We got we got fucking we got three bald eagles. Don't let them know. You're not Don't supposed let to. Them yeah, know. it costs so much money to pay for the fucking the license. I gotta pay the I gotta pay the game warden. You ever you ever deal thirty thousand dollars per bald eagle? But you ever deal with them? That. You ever deal with the the fucking DNR? You hunt growing up? No, bro, they're fucking assholes. What the bald eagles? No, the the DNR. Like if you fuck up, that's real oh. shit. Yeah, they'll get your ass. You go to oh j- yeah yeah go to yeah, jail yeah, yeah yeah the the game warden shit. My my buddy's uh, dad shot a fucking. You can't shoot fox. Oh, you can't? Not like you gotta it's gotta be in season, it's like a special Oh yeah, there's asterisk. There's an asterisk. But like an animal. orange, you know, cartoonish, like the Disney Fox, whatever the fuck that movie is. Yeah. And yeah. he's like he's like, I fucked up. Don't say shit. He like threw it in the back of the truck. <laughs> like, dude. Getting pulled over by a park ranger and he's like, Yeah, let me uh Yeah. What y'all doing today? And then you gotta show him everything you got. And he's just like, Man, just ducks, just mallards, man. Just yeah. mallards, just the green the green headed ducks. Yeah. Yeah, that bird. That was all the bird videos, right? 
Yeah. Dude, that bird was fucking crazy. I like, so to, I like to picture you like working at a zoo. Like things just don't, aren't going your way. So you got to get a job at the zoo. It's starting and to look that way. <laughs> 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 Please book me. This look on your face, just sweeping gorilla shit. No, more like a more like a like a tour guide. Like yeah, like I'm gonna be like oh. see the polar bears. They co- they cool as hell. Yeah, like just doing little like shitty jokes. You know what I mean? All right, all right, y'all. We're gonna go see the gorillas. Uh, keep all your kids on a leash. You know we don't need a Harambe number two. <laughs> Harambe. And then you start going to facts about Harambe. Yeah, this is actually Harambe's cousin. <laughs> <laughs> to Lulu. Just, this is this just is bomb to, into the zoo tour. <laughs> just bombing the zoo tour. <laughs> just no, uh, oh, yeah, he's the king of the jungle, guys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> working at a zoo. Where'd you get that from? Cause the animal? No, just cause you were like exp- You were like talking about the birds in captivity shit. Yeah, birds. Yeah, we went to the zoo, dude. We went to y'all, the zoo. You like zoos? Where y'all stand on zoos? I went to the. Uh, I'll tell you this. I went to the Virginia Living Museum one time for high, uh, during high school. The Living Museum. Yeah, Virginia Living Museum. They got fucking raccoons. They got beavers and shit, bro. I fuck with a beaver in captivity. <laughs> <laughs> that boy just out there slapping that water, boy. Just yeah. out there slap, slap, slap. They really do that. Yeah. Yo, yeah. beavers really be slapping that ass on the water, bro. <laughs> yeah. They really be making that booty that booty twerk on the water. You know, they making that ass clap on the water, making little ripples and shit. That shit was mad funny. Yo, beavers kind of low key grinders, you know. Yeah. They, they, keep, have like they just na- keep their head down. They do their own shit. Yeah, this is this is my impression of a be of a of a beaver. I'm just trying to build, yo. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I'm just trying to build. I'm just trying to find some motherfuckers to really build some shit with, you know? <laughs> like I don't need no dilly dallyers, you know. I'm trying to take <laughs> I'm trying to take them sticks. Yeah. And move them over there. You know what I'm saying? Like I need like four or five of us and once and one winner. I'm gonna build the biggest damn damn you ever damn seen, boy. <laughs> Slap, slap, slap. Just stick, mud, slap, slap, slap. <laughs> have you ever seen somebody have a beaver in their house? <laughs> It'll take like, a, I've seen videos of beavers oh, yeah. in people's cribs, yeah. and it, they had all the stuffed doggy toy animals, and the beavers making a dam out of stuffed animals. I'm like, bro, it's just yeah. in them. Yeah. It's just they have the uncontrollable desire to build a wall. Yeah. Yeah. We need some of that. <laughs> Just Trump as a Bieber. Yeah, yeah, dude. I keep saying Bieber. Like just Justin a, Bieber. I just keep saying Bieber. A Bieber with a MAGA hat on. <laughs> That's what we need, boy. Give me 100 Beavers down there. Yeah, go to chat GPT. Hey, can you uh, generate an image of a Beaver and a MAGA hat, dude? Just... I bet it already exists. <laughs> I guarantee it. Type in Bieber, a Beaver and a MAGA I was trying hat. To fr- I was trying to find frog in the sauna the other day, but no, <laughs> it doesn't Oh, we actually yet. found a picture of a frog in a sauna. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. That's Bucky. That's type, Bucky, in fr- type in frog. That's in the Bucky song. the beaver, dude. That's Trump beaver. That's Bucky. All he is. Bucky is a Bucky is a beaver. Where Bro, chill with that hat. Go that. Wait, wait, wait. Go to that hat. The forty five, forty seven with the Punisher skull, dude. Come on now. <laughs> yeah. Hell no. Thirty dude. bucks. Can you order that for me? Yeah. Right and then uh, he also has the T shirt that says, "If you come anywhere near my daughter, I don't dial nine one one." And oh, it's yeah. got like a Glock silhouette on it. Yeah. Those those dad I do t-shirts. I do I man being being the gun the gun merch thing I don't know if I I like guns but that's yeah but like the right wing cringe t-shirts that yeah. they buy and it's yeah. like it's those those shirts are kind of funny to me yeah it's always the 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 unlicensed Punisher skull is on yeah. there and it's always just an outline of an AR with mm-hmm. text underneath it it's always I always went to one of those stores I went to the fucking when I visited, uh, when I went back home to open for Jolly, I was oh, staying yeah. with my buddy, and one of his friends owns one of those stores. Oh yeah. And it's like you go in, and there's fucking tactical like plate carrier vests and yeah. duffel bags, and then army surplus shit. Yeah, and he's walking around. He's walking me through the store and shit. And he's like, "You see anything you want? Like a T-shirt or something?" And, and it's dude. <laughs> it's like fucking. Trump in a Superman outfit, and I'm like, dude, I, I don't know, but I did find one, and it was Looney Goons, and it was literally the Looney Loon- Goons. Yeah, it was literally the Looney in the gun t- store. Yeah, type in type in Looney. 
Yes, yeah, yeah. It was I see a, so it much was of a this store. Shit. It was an entire store of just this shit, and I was like, "Bro, this shit is cringe as it's fuck." So bad. Hold on, click that one on the far right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly this shit. Hold on, let me read these. It's like if Facebook was a shirt. That's all it was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. God fearing, gun toting, American loving, America loving Republican <laughs> on Amazon twenty four ninety five. You know what else is a? Uh, you know what else is really cringe is mm-hmm. like I uh, uh, I follow like barbers on Instagram. Because I want to see what I want to do with my hair. Click so. that one with the revolver. Click that one right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Unf- Let me read it to the people listening, not watching on YouTube. It's a, it's a revolver vertically on a t-shirt. It says, unvaccinated, Christian gun owner, Republican meteor, pro-life. How else can I offend you today? <laughs> Ew, bro. Go fuck. <laughs> See, that's like the opposite. Like we, like that's yeah. the other end of like. Yeah. There's also cringe there's people fags on the on right. Both sides, <laughs> like, let's just be, let's just be completely honest. You go far enough on either side, and you're gay again. We're 33 <laughs> minutes in. There's fags on both sides. There's fags on both sides. 33 too. minutes in. Fags on both sides confirmed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I came all the way over here to check if there were fags over here, too. Yeah, there are. There are. Yeah, 100%. How else can I offend you today? Oh, yeah. that's crazy. Meanwhile, it's a fucking 380-pound dude that's 5'4". That's, uh, that's my Kill Tony minute, dude. It's going to crush. <laughs> <laughs> it's my entire Kill Tony show. List. What are you saying about the barbers? Oh, it's the same the same cringe shit. They have that, the be- like, there's, like, I get beard shit pushed on me all the time, like beard oils and shit like that, and it's super, it's the same real cringe. Cause, uh, yeah, every- look at this bullshit. I get this shit pushed to me all the time on Instagram. Touch my beard and tell me I'm pretty. It's all this super gay shit. It says Instagram meta has scanned your face via your photos, and then they're <laughs> taking images of you and other guys and running cross-analyzing <laughs> the analytics. Yeah. It's thick and long. Come grab my beard. Yeah. Oh, it's a dick joke. Yeah. Yeah. It's thick all and cringe long. Shit. Pretty cringe. Who Who type this, I follow dude? barbers. Dude. Bearded, bearded men only. <laughs> Yeah. Jack Timmons wears that. <laughs> Guys, go listen to the Jane Lane specials. One of the funniest podcasts in Austin, I think. Go to um, type in Looney Goons. Looney Goons is because I feel like this was a like I know they didn't make. Look this up shirt. Goku drinking lean after that. That's, a, that's another <laughs> yeah, yeah, one of my yeah. favorite shirts. There's my let's shirt. Do shirt hour real quick. Dude. U.S. Patriot Tactical. I think that's the company. But yeah, I, my buddy has. The, I left this shirt at my buddy's house. He's gonna mail it to me. The fourth picture on the top. They must not know what we. Like, the goon, they must not know what we think about that, right? Yeah, I have this shirt. I own this shirt. <laughs> I just, yeah, it's just so not cool. with me right now. That's this, so cool. That shit, is, that shit is cold as a motherfucker. Look at Sylvester. Sylvester's my favorite. Look at Sylvester. Scroll, uh, zoom oh, in. in the, fuck, in the really. fucking oh, it's night a, vision. It's a small shit. It's the small shit. He's Lo- in the yeah, night vision. Bro. Night vision gogs. Yeah, I think that's it. Click the website itself. Go to the website. U.S. Patriot Tactical. I think that's the... She, I like, I like... I like shit like this. I like play. That's funny, and shit, dude. Yo, look at a uh, look at a hit the uh, fragmentation grenade. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good, dude. The you and the voices, bro. Pull the pin. Now I said, I, I said, I said, I'm a, I'm a blow you away. I said, I, I, I do declare. <laughs> like I in, do declare. Fucking long, longhorn. What is, horn, if I horn, hear a leg firework, horn. I'm gonna freak out. <laughs> yeah. This way. Oh yeah, yeah. Peppy the pig with PTSD. <laughs> Peppy the PTSD. <laughs> fucking Tasmanian <laughs> devil with a fucking Gatling gun. Yeah. Bro, look at Tweety Bird down there, just kind of hanging out. Oh yeah. <laughs> with the Tweety Bird up the pole on him. Tweety Bird up the pole on him. Tweety. Yeah, Looney Goons rules. I don't Looney... remember what Tweety Bird sounded like. Uh. Uh. Tweety Bird so. sounded yeah, like yeah. this. Like a zesty uh, baby. Yeah, he sounded like a uh, widow, widow zesty baby. <laughs> I don't know. I'm bet I'm butchering the shit out of it. Heath Cortez. <laughs> <laughs> Heath Cortez yeah. in simulator. Yeah. <laughs> Thirty six minutes in, Heath sounds like Tweety Bird. Oh man, no way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I swear, man. Oh, it's so fun. I love wow, it. dude. What yeah, I do. I can literally do everybody from Kill Tony. I can do any Kill Tony character. Give me Cam Patterson. <laughs> Patterson. <laughs> now do one of his jokes. In full. Yeah. Do a whole joke now. <laughs> I wrote all those jokes. No, I'm not retarded, <laughs> but I like rocks. What? That's my Cam Patterson. <laughs> I'm not retarded. <laughs> I started with Martin. That's one of my best friends. 
You Martin, really? Yep. I, me and Martin from the same school district in Virginia, and we started the same home club. Wow. Not the yeah. same classroom, though, huh? No. <laughs> he wrote you a Christmas definitely, card. Definitely, yeah, he sent me a Christmas card. Yeah? It was sick. Um, yeah, definitely not the same bus, either. Different schools <laughs> and different size bus. You see him in the hallway. <laughs> boy, that's my boy. <laughs> Dude, I felt so bad when we first visited here. We were... Uh, I was I parked all the way on like ninth and we were walking downtown and I was like, Oh my god. We had to walk back uphill to ninth to go back to the car. I just bought a fucking pedicab for him. Oh really? Yeah, but he also like he's an extraordinary human being. He um back home he used to do the uh he used to do these Appalachian Trail fucking hikes. No shit. Yeah, he walked wow. the dude, he like every year he'd do this thing where he walked the entire Appalachian Trail. Badass. And wow. here I am, able-bodied, like, yeah, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> First I, man to limp the Appalachian Trail. Yeah, that's dude, that's crazy. so difficult, it, it, especially for him. Yeah. That's already hard enough as it is. Yeah. The fucking, like, right, right it, as the end of summer. Was this me and you, were we talking about this, where we were just hanging out, and you're like, most people are pussies, man. Was that us? <laughs> <laughs> I think that was us, bro. Yeah, we were in we were the, we were in the sauna. We were in the sauna, and we were like, man, it's crazy that... Yeah, well, it's hard for people because, you know, this is difficult, yeah. this is uncomfortable, and most people are pussies. I yeah. think that's what we were saying. And it, so it sounds like us trying to be edgy and, like, it Shut sounds up. like AR-15 t-shirt <laughs> shit, but, like, really, I just, yeah, you know. I, like, I tell people I walk to work sometimes. They're like, how long does that take? I'm like, no, no, hour and 20 minutes. Yeah, that's And they're like, you walk. walk that? Yeah. You think that that's brutal for you? Yeah. Hours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I used chilling, to man. skate. I used to skate an hour to work. That shit used to fucking kill me in the hot Virginia sun. You skate for an hour? Mm-hmm. That's retarded. Skate for an hour was not faster longboard, than walking. Not longboard, like skate? Skateboard, yeah, not a longboard. Hard wheels. Hard wheels, bumpy-ass roads. Yeah. So your fucking thighs are just cooked by the time you get to work. Yeah, your spine's my, all vibrating and shit. Yeah, yeah, my, <laughs> yeah, my fucking L4 is Fuck disintegrated from all the... Of the wheel on my foot. Your rower rumbar, dude. My rower rumbar. <laughs> Your rower rumbar's burning out. <laughs> Hitting those spaces between the, the sidewalk. Oof. <laughs> I never <laughs> skated growing up. I was too scared. I, like, like, stood on a skateboard once and almost fell off, and just, I was like, I'm not doing this. Just an X-ray zoom in, Mortal a, a Mortal Kombat-esque X-ray zoom in of my spine just... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> For an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Skatality. <clears throat> Type in a frog sauna. I want to show Nick the picture. How's your uh How's my what? How's how's your back and shoulder and all that? How's I'm your, all how's, your up. how's your body feeling, dude? I'm all Good. healed up. Yeah, yeah, I gotta get back in the gym and lift. I got him, I got him doing some shoulder prep, bro. Scroll we can down. talk about that for a second too. Scroll you down. and the frog sauna. You off those fucking zins. Oh yeah, almost died. Yeah, there it is. Oh nice. There's yeah, a... it's us. <laughs> <That> was... <laughs> we were like four deep and there was a black guy in there. Yeah. Yo, their dicks are out. I never <laughs> noticed that. Look at the the black dude's hard too. Yeah, the black one is hard. That was me right there. The little one in the right, on the far right. Oh, is that? It's all Norwegian countries. Is that what this is? Oh yeah, probably. Yeah, the, I see the flags. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The white and blue one is that fin Finland? I can't remember which is. I think. I can't remember. It's funny as hell. I'm fucking stupid. It sucks. We can't put water on the stones in there, dude. Yeah. I feel like it doesn't get hot enough. Yeah. Also, the steam helps you breathe and shit. Putting steam, yeah. We well, it's a uh, the Y I mean, the YMCA has a steam room though. Maybe I yeah. could just fucking get that membership instead. I don't know. Gold's is taxing, bro. Forty dollars a month, and then the sixty dollar annual fee. I was like, bro, that's a that's a buck. Yeah. That's a buck, bro. I got the I got the gym at the apartment complex. I'm literally here for the sauna. I should just buy my own shitty little one person sauna to put on my patio. The little just, red light. Yeah. The little the little tent. It's like a little steam tent you can I've buy. I've seen I've seen people they got ones that I mean I don't it wouldn't work anymore but in the summer it's like it's just a black tent and it heats up to like 180 in there. You're you just, just sit there. in there. Yeah, you, get, you need a, a yard but you know it'll trash work. bag. There's also <laughs> sauna places by your place like just stretch yeah. yeah. you can just get a that, yeah. that might be sauna. more Kuya. Than, and it's like infrared. Cool yeah. Really I don't trust that infrared shit. I hate science, bro. I'm a fucking caveman straight up like I dated They're like, this we're going to sauna you with lasers. I'm like, leave me alone. Dude. dude, this girl I dated had an infrared uh, light bulb in her shower. I took a shower there one time, this girl yeah. I was dating. Bro, when that light bulb's on and you get out of the shower, it's like going from the shower to a sauna. 
I'm like, yo, this light bulb is generating so much heat. Really? Yeah, it was like a heating lamp. It, like it, it illuminated the room in like this, like a uh, dark orange, almost like photography dark room kind of vibe to the yeah. bathroom. But you're also like, yo, my, you can see your the water is drying off your skin. I'm like, yo, this. Is, and then when the house is fucking sixty degrees, you know what I mean? Yeah. Why? Bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. So literally, yes, that bulb. They just had that's that you. bulb. You yeah, that's put a me. frog <laughs> washing pussy off you. <laughs> Why is it so hot in here? <laughs> Fucking hot in here. Washing my frog cock. Yeah. Just did froggy style. <laughs> was just man, he was hitting the pussy all froggy style. Yeah, I'm being my, I'm being my girls here talking about. Burp. I was, girl. I was in the pussy talking about some ribbit. Talking, talking about. Burp. Yeah, that was me. Just DMT coming out of your back and shit. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be one of those frogs. Yeah, dude. I would be the DMT. You squeeze Mike and smoke the sweat. Yeah. You fucking leave. You leave. Earth. Crystallized. Yeah, my sweat crystallizes Have on the Have you ever inside. done that? You ever done DMT? Like nine times. Wow. You yeah. broke through? Every time. Wow. I yeah, never I broke to, through. I did it twice. I didn't break tell through. Tell you a story. I, uh, I, did, I did DMT one time, and it was like... <laughs> I saw myself in a theater and it was fully packed out. And then in an instant, it was just me in there. All the chairs were empty. Whoa. So it was like a bunch, like a full, imagine like the beacon full to the brim. And yeah. everyone's like, <sighs> yeah. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> wow. <sighs> what the fuck? Gone. Yeah. How long Back. were you alone in the in the theater part? I felt mean, it like did, you forever. Know, time doesn't mean nothing. It felt like that. forever. Yeah. To the point to where I just kind of felt awkward, and I was like, and the guy who I did it with, he was like t- explaining it to me. He was like, yeah, it's it's kind of like a you can live for the world, but at the end of the day, it's you. Yeah. That's how he he told me to interpret yeah. that. He was like, bro, it really is up to you, and you're at the end of the day, you're alone, yeah. and you're. You're with yourself. So it's like you can be adored by all these people, right? This yeah. is how I interpret it. I interpret yeah, yeah. it as you're adored by so many people. You have so many fans. But at the end of the day, you're alone, and do you like who you are? Everybody likes you, but do you like who you are? Yeah. And I'm like, damn, why is the DMT doing this shit to me, dog? It's a good way to look at it. I hear a lot of comics talk about they do, they shoot a fucking, they do a big theater, they do a giant gig, and then they leave. You know, thousands of people, whatever, they just entertain, they're, and they're just in their hotel room. And it's like, that's what Shane was talking about. He's like, it's fucked up. It's like, not like humans shouldn't. You got to go do something after because the times where he goes straight back to his hotel, you kind of like tweak out the room a little bit. That's what he was saying. Where did you see that? Uh, Shane on his podcast was talking about it. Just doing a, a theater, and then you're alone in your hotel room. Mm. Just I'm like, just trying fuck. to get to the theater part. Yeah, for real. Dude, you, dude, I saw Chandler open for Jesselnik. He was showing me the video. Bro, the the video, because he got the video from behind of him walking out, doing that. And it's like, th- I, don't, I can't remember how many thousands of people, but, you know, it's Jesselnik, so he's selling out whatever the fuck. Paramount. Probably Paramount, yeah. It was Paramount. Yeah. I remember, because when I saw him do that, I was like, brother, congratulations. Dude, he, cr- he, he was telling me, he's like, it, it just it went so well. He couldn't have been happier. Anthony paid him double. Mm-hmm. How cool is that? He's like, he looked at the check and he's like, oh, you guys got it wrong. This is like two checks. And he's like, yeah, I know you did really good. Also, if you're ever back in town, like you're opening for me, I like you. Hmm. Usually they pick a new, he was like telling me that I'm, dude, so happy for the boy. Yeah. And then, I was we, like, and then we go, we get coffee and he's just there. Yeah. That's the crazy thing about being a comic is like one day you're really doing it, right? Like it, this is real life and you're doing it and you're like, yeah. yo, this is incredible. And then the next day, you're you're just you're going to the sauna and going to the gym because you're not getting on stage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I you know every time I do get on stage though, I'm not getting up as frequently. But yeah. when I do get up, I'm making the most of it. I'm I pumped. notice sometimes I'll take a break and I'm like, "Fuck, man, I'm slipping." Right. But then I get on, and I do good. There's people I get go, burned okay. out. They get burned out. Yeah. I burned myself out the first year. You gotta I was here. be. You gotta hitting be. like ten mics a week. Yeah. You got to be real with yourself. But I also was, like, cramming for, like, I'm newly sober. And now I know how to be myself on stage. Yeah. Because I was bombing a lot. How know? long How long? Uh, 
were you sober when you came to Austin, or did you sober up here? How did that go? I got so, dude, I was a month into sobriety when I moved here. Wow, just tweaking. Tweaking out. <laughs> just holding, like, I'd be at yeah, Vulcan. Dude. I'd be at Vulcan fucking throwing out a can. A full, you'd grab, like, a Lone Star tall boy, and you're just like. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, like, it's full. 93% full. It's cold. Oh, it's full. It's cold. It's $5. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, dude. Take a sip, Peter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're weak. Just Genghis just, Khan on your shoulder. No, no, the no, Green Goblin. <laughs> oh yeah, just, yeah. Just Willem Dafoe's voice in my head. Yeah. Be like you're a pussy. You know how much I sacrificed. Do you know how much I sacrificed? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love that. I love yeah. that scene from Spider-Man One. That's me. Spider-Man One was the hitter, bro. That's me and my wife fighting in my apartment. <laughs> Do you know how much I've sacrificed? Jumping out of the machine, <laughs> breaking through the glass. <laughs> when he grabs a scientist, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> Watch yeah, that. Yeah, Spider Man one is the best. It's also fucking cringe as hell. Is it really? In yeah. hindsight or what? The end, dude, this the beginning of the the beginning of Spider Man one, there's a monologue before it starts. Oh yeah. And he's like, I could tell you everything about my life. But my story's so dark and twisted, you'd never believe me. And you're like, what? Who, whose monologue is that? It's Tobey Maguire saying this. Really? Yeah, are you good? No, yeah, the headphone headphones came out. Oh, yeah? They good now? Can you hear me? Do I still have audio here? Yeah, you do. Yeah. It's I'm just, good. Can you hear us? Well, I can hear No, no. It's just probably because you bumped it or unplugged yeah, it. Here, oh, yeah. Oh, the it chair just, got uh, it. Okay, I see what's happening. The chair pulled it? Chair fucking. Oh yeah, it does it. Yeah, sometimes you get so comfy you'll 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 unplug from the Matrix for a second. Yeah, unplug from the Matrix. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, but Spider Man One, dude, it's it's like all the all the sad boys who couldn't who who, like were nervous around girls. Yeah, it's the perfect movie for that. I I revisit. I revisited Spider Man One like recently, like two weeks ago, and um, I was like, oh yeah, I totally get why chubby little eight year old me liked this. Oh, yeah. Because I would see girls at school, and I was like, oh, they don't talk to me. <laughs> yeah. I was liking girls early, man. I was fucking in it. I was like, man, she's beautiful. I Dude, was falling yeah. in love in third grade, bro. I wasn't falling in love, but I got, I was in early on. I remember, do you remember the time you, like, the first time you're like, damn, girls are hot. Like, do you remember? Because I remember, I, like, can kind of remember. Middle school. Yeah. Because everybody came, like, you go to summer break. You go to summer break, fifth grade. You come back, and now there's um, you come back to school, and you're all nervous because now you got a locker, and you got to learn a, a locker combination. Oh yeah! But then you Tweaking also at the locker, bro. But then now, uh, fucking Bianca has giant boobs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. There's always a one girl in retro. Yeah, there's always one. Yeah, when you're in sixth grade, there's always one girl who just like is 13 years old with double D's, and everyone in school is talking about them. Yeah. You're like, that, no way. The Bebe Got Boobs episode of yeah, South Park is so relatable. Accurate, yeah. That's like the most accurate fucking description of like being in school and then everyone's hitting puberty and shit. <laughs> it's like, crazy. Bro, did you see Bianca? I honestly think school, school more than it is a, a learning place in middle school, it's just a place to put your horny kid for eight hours a day. <laughs> That's all it is. Just like, hey, for eight hours, while I'm at work, don't fuck anything. I'll be back. <laughs> it's all it is, dude. It's all that fucking place. It's kid, it's, it's, it's. it's you're being babysit with a boner for eight hours. <laughs> and they always wanted to ask you, like, dude, the uncontrollable boners of middle school used to drive me crazy. I'd They're be like, so pissed. I'd be like, oh, not now. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Bro. Why? And Michael, would you like to come up to the front of the class and show us how to do this? Uh, d- d- show us how to solve this equation? And I'm like, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. And just. <laughs> yeah, dude. My fucking, my little, my little hammer. Can you play a gong noise? <laughs> Flip it up into your waistband. <laughs> yeah, you're fucking. The waistband, dude. And then you're like, if anyone pulls my shirt up. I'm fucked. <laughs> I'm so fucked. You're, co- you're cock. It just... almost feels weird. You're like, just my dick is under one layer of fabric yeah, right yeah, now. Just yeah, so... your cock will do one of these. Yeah. Can you pull up, can you pull up a shiesty? Can you pull up a white dude in a shiesty real quick? That was my dick in all middle school. Hey, bro. Hey, what neighborhood are you from? That's my dick. Look, that's my dick, dude. Eight hours a day. <laughs> Where are you from? The white t-shirt one is funny. It's fucking... That's my dick, dude. <laughs> just just like this, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, South Africa. 
the history of South Africa, my dick's like, get me the fuck out. <laughs> yeah. The Mesopotamians, and you're just like, what yeah. the fuck? Wait, go down, down left from that one. There it is. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's the phases of my dick throughout from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. <laughs> Dude, school, I remember school taking so long, bro. You ever just be in there and it's like 140? Yeah. 140 yeah. felt like forever. Yeah. Remember in the sauna when I was like, don't look at the clock, bro. Mm-hmm. Same shit. That's all you do. Yeah. You yeah. just sit in a room and you stare at a clock and then you pass out. Your body, and you're at this point in your life where you need more sleep than ever because your body's growing and you're yeah. fucking all your energy is getting put towards bone structure changing and your body's chemically changing physically changing and then they're like yeah sit under these fluorescent lights for eight hours yeah and they're like yo why are they all fighting and hitting each other <laughs> why are they throwing chairs yeah, at the why teacher? the second the second i get out of school i drive my car 100 miles an hour because <laughs> i'm fucking why am take i this shit. why am i so fucking happy the, yeah. the moment i sit on the bus to yeah. go home yeah. And then that bus ride home sometimes would take too long, too. And I'd be on the bus just yeah. fucking like, dude. Mad at the people who live closer than you? Yeah. I resent the people who have a closer stop than me. Like, yeah, I'm the, physically the, upset at them. The first yeah. kid that gets dropped off. And you and you, and it's always a kid whose house isn't in a neighborhood. Oh, so you yep. just see him walk. He's, like, skipping back to his house. And yeah. you have to be on the bus for 40 more minutes. Remember the kid that would run? Did you have one of those? <laughs> yeah. He'd take the backpack. He'd do... Do one of these, <laughs> and he'd sprint home from his bus. <laughs> he'd sprint the whole block, and you're like, dog, it's not that deep. You'll get home, dude. And yeah, it is funny. I mean, this has been said a million times, but to put kids in that environment and then put them on fucking stimulants because they can't focus is, <laughs> I mean, it's fucking crazy. 30 milligram XR. Yeah. Just yeah. in that bitch, just grinding your teeth. That was me in, that was me in eighth grade. That was me in eighth grade. Just they had you? They got 30 you? 30 milligrams XR, fucking Yo, Adderall. 60. <laughs> 60 Vivance by middle school, dude. Grinding my teeth. Dude, I knew a girl that lived two houses down from me, and her grandpa, uh, her grandpa smoked Winston Reds, so I just had... Unlimited Winston Reds. <laughs> Winston Red 100s. I would fucking come home. Middle school, you'd be smoking them? Eight, yeah, eighth grade. Adderall, wow. just coked, just coked out on Adderall in eighth grade. Emo hair. Just <laughs> like, just. Yeah. <laughs> just so one, stressed out. One eye covered, jeans tight as hell, just. Yeah. One AirPod in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the fuck. Yeah, one oh, the monster! Butt, butt. No, it'd be the candy skull, skull or candy. whatever the fuck. Yeah, skull, skull, skull candy. Candies. One, one skull candy in my ear. Oh, fucking, okay. nah, not even. <laughs> just a fucking uh, AFI. <laughs> Miss murders bumping in one of my ears. <laughs> hey, Miss Murder, can I? Hey, Miss Murder, can I take mine? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Hey, Miss Murder Kid. School fucking sucks. Yeah. I was one You're of the- You're an emo kid, huh? I was a goth a little emo. Bit. Yeah, goth for like sixth grade, and then emo started becoming more popular. No, I never got it. And I then never ninth grade, in. and then ninth grade, Lil Wayne mixtape era. Fucking Crooks and Castles, Bay Hoodies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The Chigger, the Chigger Maxing began. Chigger. <laughs> the Chigger Maxing started in ninth Chigger grade. Maxing arc. Chigger Maxing Arc, and then my mom died, and then I went to uh, the black high school across the sh- across town, hmm. and that's when I fully like grew into my Chigger Max because I was already smoking cigs, and then I was like, all right, now we gotta find a weed dealer. Yeah. All right, and then it was just weed and Newports. I'd have like an eighth of dank in a fucking Newport cellophane, and then wow. just Newport one hundreds, and I would just fucking roll fat Dutch masters, <laughs> fat. Fucking caveman sized Dutch masters yeah. and fat like a grape white owl was the shit back yeah. then. You'd fucking smoke a grape white owl, you're fucking the weed sucked so bad. There's like yeah. fucking those little microscopic spiders all over the dank and shit. You're just getting high off those spiders, dude. <laughs> I remember the first time we got good weed in my town, we're like, no fucking way, dude. We can- Hey, let's pull up. Uh, let's look at the map. You, you, me, and Taylor. All of our home states went blue. Yeah, true. The fuck. Yeah, let's pull that shit up, eh? Pull up the uh, elect. Yeah, let's look at the map because <clears throat> it's crazy. Because Virginia went oh, blue. Oh man, look at. Th- of course, dude. Two ninety two. Now that it's all called. Damn. 
That's crazy, I don't even bro. think this is accurate either. You don't? No. No. The, no. It, dude, I, so. there, I was watching a bunch a, of weird suppression going on. Yeah, I was watching a live stream. I was watching the news on my TV, and then I would pull up the numbers on my phone, and they'd be different. Whoa. And she was losing less bad on here. But then you'd pull up Fox, and she it was like one eighty to two. Fuck, like she was she was getting stomped. But on here, they're like it wasn't. They were all weren't yeah, up there. They're just gonna give me this. That's fine. Know. We can go off that. It's fine. Look up a uh, Fox. Uh, if you float, if you float, Fort Worth, Houston, whatever the fuck that that website is. The BBC. BBC. The BBC. Top Gear. Dude, Top Gear. Small shout out, Top Gear. Dude, what the fuck? The West isn't going to fall. <laughs> Donald Trump has secured the victory. <laughs> it's the fucking Stig. Yeah. <laughs> the Stig <laughs> takes his helmet off. It's Trump. <laughs> Donald, Donald Trump doing the fucking the lap. <laughs> wow, the Porsche. What an amazing machine. <laughs> Incredible I he, machine. I bet he likes cars, dude. Not, maybe not to like the extent. He, he might like, not be he, a nerd about it, but he's got enough money to get good ones. So. Rolls Royces. Yeah. Biden spoke with Trump and plans to address... Going all over the place. Fifteen electoral votes. Just go back to the map. Let's just look. I just want to look at the map. map. Look at Virginia. Quick. Float your cursor over Virginia. So you were over there. Fifty-one yeah. forty-six. Wow! So, look at the yeah. fucking map too. The population densities in those three blue areas too. Because like, and here's the thing about Alexandria and shit. I was born in Alexandria. That's um. They think they're in New York. Northern Virginia, they think they're part of the North, so they kind of vote how the North mm. votes. They're kind of liberal up there. I did a show there one time, and I have Tim's too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did a show up there, and I fucking bombed my ass off. I opened for Punky Johnson in DC and bombed my <laughs> ass off. So now, so now I have I have her fan base in SNL, and I'm you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like my shit doesn't fit that, but I was very grateful that she gave me the spot. You know, I drove fucking three hours. Yeah, I heard, I saw somewhere that a lot of people <clears throat> uh, are trans. They're from they they work in D.C. and like live in D.C. but they live over here because it's maybe it's cheaper or something. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. So there's a bunch of D.C. people voting in. in yeah, it's in the same Virginia. thing. Same thing with like Washington State and Oregon. Yeah. But yeah, the highest population density, Norfolk, is predominantly black. Uh, New York City. Yeah, they vote like they vote like they're up north. Yeah. It is crazy. It's, it's like just, Canada shit leaking down. Yeah. Even they, what and then go to Minnesota maybe. Look imagine at, eat just eating a lobster roll and being like I'm Look at how bag. lame these places are, dude. That's crazy. Yeah, they're like pretty wow. They're so Boston. out of touch. Except Maine pretty based though. Maine pretty <laughs> Yeah, but Maine's Bangor is full of like hippie white chicks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bangor, Maine is full of like hairy arm. Look at this. Look at this chick. fucking bullshit. Duluth. Every year. Minneapolis, St. Paul, and Duluth. That's where you're from. You're from Min. Yeah. I'm from uh the bot. Go to the bottom left corner of the state. I'm from there. Bottom left. Yeah, I'm right up, right in there, middle of nowhere. It's crazy. Shit. It's a square. Yeah. Yeah. They're like whatever. Fuck it. It's a square. square. Lyon County, dude. <laughs> Do you know about Lyon County? Nothing. Never heard of it. It's all. It's just. <clears throat> most of Minnesota is dude. Rural farmers, trucks. Look, look guns at Austin. And Austin's shit. Democrat, right? Damn, bro. In a sea of fucking. Barely. Just, Whoa. Can bar you pull up? Oh, barely. Can you pull leads. up Doom Guy? Like can you pull up Doom Guy? Not as much as these. <laughs> on a hill. Like not yeah. As much as Go. Yeah. Open another tab and uh, open another Google Image tab and type in Doom Guy. <laughs> this is Austin. This is Austin in this Texas. This is a Republican in Austin. <laughs> right there. Just the Wait, fucking, go go down left, bottom, bottom left. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just, that's Austin. <laughs> that's them it's just them sucking dick. All the co <laughs> all the conservatives in fucking Austin. Yeah. Leave me alone. Can I get two dollars? Gimme can I get some change? Can I get a little bit of help, brother? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I'm just trying to get. I'm just trying to get by, man. Yeah. This is us walking to the gym, too, honestly. Dude, million dollar corner, Brazos and fucking sixth. Brazos and sixth is just. It's just an island. They sit out there on the corner like seals. Yeah, they're just out there. Taylor, you know what we're talking about. Arr, oh, yeah. arr, arr, oh, yeah. Can I get a dollar? <laughs> arr, 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 arr. <laughs> They're out there sunbathing and shit. It literally looks like an island of seals. 
Yeah. Beached seals just yeah. sitting there shirtless, sweating, just laying on their side and shit yeah. and everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude. Fat just, somehow. Just a fat homeless guy going. Fat somehow. Makes me so mad. That fat. makes I've never I've never been every time I see they it, get I'm the food well, they get the food stamp card and they just eat you know, gas station food. Yeah. Dude, I've tell, I was telling Ridley about every fucking homeless dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's actually, fifth and Brazos. Yeah, yeah, that's fifth and sixth and Brazos. Is that's just me, that. that's me. I'm like, hey, can I get a, two towels and go into the sauna? And then outside, <laughs> you can hear it through the glass. Every wow. homeless dude, I was telling Ridley this, every homeless dude lives in the 90s. If you ask a homeless dude, if you offer him to buy him something, every time it's... Can I get a honey bun and a Mountain Dew? And I'm like, I didn't even know that existed anymore. <laughs> I didn't even know people ate that. I shit. want a Budweiser, yeah. 22 ounce Budweiser yeah. Red, the yeah. Bud Heavy. I love when they have the audacity to be like, "Can you buy me a pack of cigarettes?" No, I'm not buying you cigarettes. That's you crazy. Loser. Yeah, well, we were uh, we went to a gas station and motherfuckers were like, "Yeah, we went to a gas station and motherfuckers were like, uh, yo, can you get me?'" You said, "Can I get?" You want something to drink? I can get you something to drink. He goes, yeah, can I get a beer? And I just laughed in his fucking face the moment he said that. Yeah, I was like, yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. No, man. Brother, we'll get you a water, dude. Maybe a maybe a tall, smart water. Yeah. Bros beat. I'm going to tell you something. You need vitamins, bro. Here's the thing about homeless people, man. If they shot their shot, if they would shoot their shot with, like, a job and shit like that, bro, you are so ambitious. Homeless people are very ambitious. Why don't you just apply that to fucking... I know, but they sink their points into the wrong. Yeah, they sink, shit. Yeah, you just, they they sink. They they like every day. Like I mean, that's that Shane bit where every day is a quest. Yeah, when they you're do a lot of shit. They're active, but they just do. You know, it's weird. Buff ones. There's jacked homeless people in Austin. <laughs> always makes me also again just as mad as the fat ones. How? How? When I have shredded. I have a gym membership. They zero. They're zero percent BMI. I have an I have an app on my phone. I can track everything I eat, and if I do it correct, they all look nuts. Yeah, he has an app too. It's called Being Broke as Fuck. Yeah, <laughs> just no phone. Yeah. yeah. The well, is I'll fucking. I don't have a house. I'll fucking become a house. Dude. Nick, is there anything you want to plug for the freebie GBs out there? We're about to take this over to. Uh, uh, we're gonna continue this over at Patreon. Uh. Follow me on Instagram and come to Banana Phone, dude. That's yeah, really about yeah. it, dude, because I post any shows that I'm on. I put them up on my Instagram story. Nick I keep be, them posted. Nick so. Be Good on Instagram. Nick Be Good on Instagram. Sunday, every Sunday, 10 p.m., Banana Phone. Come yes. to that if, you know. Thank you for, uh, thank you for, I appreciate you guys for indulging the young Republicans of Austin, Texas. I really appreciate you guys <laughs> stopping by. We're going to, um, We'll have We're to go. fight our way out of here. On the <laughs> <laughs> Woman has the right to choose. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say everything that I really want to say on Patreon. If you guys want to check that out, go over to patreon.com slash Radio Ridley Radio. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love you. Bye-bye. You're listening to the R3 Podcast.